Hello, hello, one too many here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to edit and modify your bank files for StarCraft 2. Now, your bank files are what the files that are used to store all of your in-game data for custom games. So, for example, your high scores or just your kills and things like that in general. Any any data that's basically saved from game to game in a custom game, it is saved in your bank file. So, first let's start by showing you guys where these files are. And you can see I just went into libraries right here. And then documents, StarCraft 2, accounts, and then this in this file right here, if you have more than one account that you play on the same computer, there's going to be more than one file here. So you're going to have to try and figure out yourself which actual number is associated with your particular account. Um, in, in my case, I only play with one account, so it's easy for me. I know it's this file right here. And you just keep going. This is the directory so far where I'm at. Then you go into banks, and then these files right here are the particular files associated with certain games on the StarCraft II custom screen. So I know that this number right here is actually Gym Tower Defense, and these two are for different versions of Marine Arena. So you go in these files, and this, this is the actual bank file. So this is where all of your data is saved for, in this case, Gym Tower Defense. And I'll go back and I'll show you guys. See, this is the Marine Arena one, and then another Marine Arena one. All right. Oops, I went too far, back into banks. And so the way that you would edit these files is by first always create a backup because you don't know if they're secure or not. And in this case, I know that the Gym Tower Defense one is secure, so I already have a backup ready. But you would go in here and you would create a text document. And you don't even have to name it. You just open it and then drag the bank file and drop it in. And you can see these are all my scores associated with my uh, Gym Tower Defense account. So this is where it pulls all the data when it when I open the game and I start the game. This is all the data that it's retrieving for the actual high score thing. And this down here is the actual encoding, this little hex key right here. And I'm not exactly sure how this works, but the gist of it is if you edit any of these numbers and either these numbers or the, the date modified, so that the timestamp on the actual file does not correspond with this signature value, this hex code right here, then it will completely wipe your bank and make you start over from zero. So in this case, Gym Tower Defense is a file that you cannot edit, but there are there is another trick that you can do with it that is completely safe and works every time. And so what you would do is, let me get rid of this text document because I do not need it. What you would do is you would copy your bank file and back it up in a previous file like I have here, just copy replace. And then say for example you wanted to go into Gym Tower Defense and you wanted to keep on joining a game and leaving a game based on the zones you got. So if you didn't get the perfect zones, you didn't want to play it because you knew you weren't going to be able to beat it on say extreme or insane mode. In this case, you would just copy the bank. So you've already got you've already made a backup and you go into the actual file and then you would join a game and you would check the zones and if the game wasn't what you'd want, you would just copy over your actual file with the backup. And what that does is it makes it so you don't build up a, a huge amount of losses by joining and leaving the game multiple times. And you can keep doing this over and over again with no real risk of losing your, um, your actual bank file. And this is a strategy that works with any game, so it also works with Marine Arena. Say if you wanted to keep your losses down to zero, you would just have to kind of tediously copy and paste this file back and forth. Again, this isn't going to be for everyone. But for those of you that really want to beat insane mode and don't want to rack up a bunch of losses because you are going to need the perfect zones in order to do it, this would be the method that you would use in order to maintain a good win-loss ratio. Ratio. Yeah. Either way, uh, this is one too many. I hope you guys like this. If you did, be sure to thumbs it up so more players can find it. And until next time, um, again, one too many. I'll see you guys later.